Malungin sil sa mga kumiruroy, ako mam na masam na tunin na TMC ang akong klera wilaw ng ironggoy. May kagita ako mga mga alayas at ito ng real sales, makotan mga alayas sa Vice President ng Taiwan ang niya Honorable Lai Ching Te ang may visit ng Bulur Belaw, loban 302 members ng delegation ng ngayon. Tirgal ng aparte ng delegation ng ngayon ang niya ng other government sectors, tourism sector, aquaculture sector, ma hotel investment businesses. Ang kagang artel o bangkela delegation ngayon for three days, ay ang artel ng mga visitors sa Taiwan's Technical Mission, dire ko mo attend ra groundbreaking ceremony ra galbes sa ra rabulur bela o niya funded by ra Republic of Taiwan, ay dire ko mo attend ra mo inaugurate sa long distance medical center ra artel bulur bela. Tiyang a joint initiative ra Taipei based Shing Kong Memorial Hospital, Lobangela Palau Ministry of Health and Human Services. While ang kal Honorable Vice President ra Taiwan ang artiang dira kon mo witness to sell ceremony al other Taiwan ang mo donate a baseball equipment and mo rabulur belaw. At tanan may ang alays a bulur ang rard. Under sell public private partnership ya governor ang rard ma state government. I'm going to join our forces to get a private landowner and to lease out 16 private lots and to be public. I'm going to get 16 lots and I'm fortunate to get 16 lots. I'm going to sign an agreement to get Mr. Siegfried Nakamura and the landowner. I'm going to get a lot of money and I'm going to get a land purchase agreement and I'm going to get a lease and I'm going to get a lot after a full payment and I'm going to get a lot of money. I got lots of various in size and prices. Yeah, I like a lot of range from five thousand to twelve thousand. I can only require a twenty percent down payment, maximum of two years terms, a twelve percent interest rate annually. A state government that mum rule a lot more. I can get a lot more. Most of it are other. Up no, I'll take a thing. I got a lot more. I'll learn a lot. Then I'll come on board. I'll be here. At that, I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask the Ministry of Justice. Ngayon niya training ng mga Singapore for engine maintenance, mga niya tedel bulis ra Division of Maritime Security and Fish and Wildlife Protection ng Lamong tiyang unmu or sa October 13 na malmol malmo November 3. Tiyang a program ay supported by the Nippon Foundation na malklaw tutelel ng training ng mga mga sao ra operation ng kadam yung kadam ma is linked to the surveillance of Palau's EEC. Ang dira kan mo niya tara training ngayon niya mo umura November 7 mong mo niya mutad tedel bulis ra the vision of maritime security, fish and wildlife protection ang kukumutan mo tayo ng training. Tiyang press release at tilaw the office of the Vice President Ministry of Justice ang gira possible case of drowning. On October 19, 2022 at around 12.24 noon Bureau of Public Safety received a telephone call from an individual requesting an ambulance to Ulung Dock in Ngarart State. The request was regarding an individual who was unresponsive. The unresponsive individual was transported by the ambulance to the National Hospital where he was pronounced deceased by Dr. Lesuma upon arrival. Investigations regarding this dreadful incident started that day by the Division of Criminal Investigation with Detecti Detective Lieutenant Gabriel as the lead investigator. Investigations is still ongoing. Interviews and collection of evidence are being conducted. All cases that result in death of another or of another are presumed to be homicide and later ruled otherwise based on the investigation. During the course of investigation, brief information received at this point is that the deceased individual has been identified to be Mr. Edwin Milong. Mr. Milong was part of a group who went fishing in Kayang when his unfortunate incident happened. At this point of the investigation, there has been no evidence provided to indicate any indications of a foul play. As a result of a thorough examination of the body at the time, Mr. Milong was still wearing his fishing apparel and, was, and there was no sign of any physical injuries present. Future information regarding this matter may be provided later as investigation is still ongoing. If you have any questions or information to provide, please contact the Bureau of Public Safety, Division of Criminal Investigations at 488-2481. 
tiang atara meyang al ais el mlara national emergency management office material ulto the public advisory sera october 26 2022 alwase the national weather service office in irai has reported that the monsoon trough is forecasted to slowly move northwestward along with the invest area of 93 west and could continue to bring robust convection to Palau through Thursday. This morning, it looks like Palau will get heavier showers and current observations indicate winds have decreased. This means that we can continue to expect medium to heavy rainfall and isolated thunderstorms through Thursday with slightly windy conditions, but may become windier with heavy rainfall. Due to the amount of rainfall already received, as well as the forecasted rainfall through this Thursday, the chances of landslide and mudslide are possible. Due to the current forecasted weather conditions, the Republic of Palau has upgraded to the Marine Advisory Small Craft Warning Red Flag. This is now in effect for the entire country, both inside and outside of the reef. As general precaution during windy and rainy conditions, Secure loose items such as tent, tarps, boats, and other outdoor items. Make sure they are secured or taken down until conditions improve. The public is reminded to take extra precautions like watching your vehicle speed, maintaining a safe distance, turning on headlights when visibility is low, and being alert while driving for possible flooding, mudslides, landslide, and or debris on the road. As a general safety reminder for all marine activities, please take extra precautions and adhere to all marine safety tips. Should there be further developments to this weather system affecting Palau, NEMO will issue an updated public advisory. At that, I'm going to say that the Palau Community College is the first time to do the morning time seminar on the Palau tax reform. Tiang ang morning ira Friday niya October 28 at 12 p.m. and 1 p.m. Tiang agil topics niya mo mas tira mo sa other tal seminar ang mo sa the Palau tax reform sa January 2023 rollout. Tiang adi free ang morning ira light snacks malso mga niya malso mga niya kagarmi we mo tanga lam kadong ra 488-6223 or stop by sa PCCC office. Yag es pigay dat tal Noon time seminar, Mr. Elway Igeda and the Director of Bureau of Revenue and Taxation. At the time, the ICE, the ICE, the ICE, the ICE, the ICE, the ICE, the government, the ICE, the election, the ICE, 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 Ya floor floor leader at white near amat ng niya later ang grill. Ay gal tablong ang constitutional amendment sa mga approve mula chain sa terms sa later sa net two years elang namo four years. Mula chain sa self voting el chain sa constitution ang ar along from seventy five to fifty five percent. Ang ar along ar elang ang mogo tablo rablo belan mo officially name mas street certi under sa ar PPL ten dash fifty. National Street Naming and Addressing System for the Nations. May gagi da kuk mongkla la streets rablurang along, mga nyang real court, Tilor Street, Rengd Lane, Despadang Street, Padrul Ao Lane, Kyok Lane, Matoday Place. Malawai se, gagi da kuk nam yang alay sa kuk nam sa amalol tobel al sil, sa kuman nam sa ulam na tunin na TMC, kuman makngit tayang, so please drive safe and buckle up.